everyone, John David here. Before jumping into the video, here is one thing. Every studio monitors are speakers, but every speakers are not studio monitors. Keep that in mind. So, first and foremost thing, what is the JBL 104BT? These are some crazy affordable studio monitors that comes with Bluetooth connectivity as well. So, I think what you're gonna get with the speakers. I have already made an unboxing video, you can check out that one. Also a sound test with it, instruction manual, the master studio monitor and the passive studio monitor. 3.5M jack to RCA cable and a red and black speaker wire and a power cable. In my case, it's two power cables. Now, let's come to the design of it. Well, the JBL 104 BT has a very simple uh, and very much of a, like a pill set design and it looks real cute. By the way, I have to say it, this is one of the most unique looking studio monitors out there because most of them are like boxy. I know some people like them, but I like this one. This is just unique. The front grille is metal one and it is also not removable. The whole speaker is covered in plastic and the plastic material is a little rough, but it is something unique. Like I'm not saying it's cheap feeling, but it's something really cool yet it's rough. I like it. This studio monitor is also available in black as well as white. And in my case, you can see it's white. I love it. And this one actually blends in with my setup pretty well. And it will also for most people because these speakers are not that large. I mean, going by the typical studio monitor sizes. This is quite small, but it's not that small. They're 24.7 centimeters tall, 15.3 centimeters wide, and 12.4 centimeters deep. The passive monitor actually weighs around 3.81 pounds, while the master studio monitor is about 4.54 pounds. Now, at the bottom, you will find circular rubber feet so that actually makes them stick to the table pretty well and they don't left any kind of stains when placed on a table for long. Now, not just that, even at a higher volume at like max out everything, these speakers don't move around, not at all. They're stuck to the table, literally. Now, if you don't know, the JBL 104 BTs are actually the updated model of the JBL 104 that doesn't have Bluetooth. This one does have. Now, the JBL 104 Bluetooths have coaxial 4.5 inch drivers and 0.75 inch soft dome tweeters. And each speaker in this set can produce 30 watts of power. So they are like in total 60 watts. Now, what are the connectivity options? Well, you have the 3.5 mm to RCA cable, which means you have an RCA connection. You have a TRS connection. You have a front 3.5 mm jack for audio out as well as an audio in separately. And of course, Bluetooth. Now, at the back, you will find a power button and a power cable. Anyway, that's all the design, which I really, really like because it's just unique. Now, coming to the sound quality and all those stuffs. Never really notice what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I could feel a sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a stream. You don't understand the pain of grief. You don't ever want to give me wings. You don't ever want to set me free. You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you can get you with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed the JBL 104BT undoubtedly fulfills the promise made in the marketing, which was to provide a high accuracy studio monitor for audio work. So definitely they aren't for you if you are looking for a, just a normal kind of speakers that has high bass and stuff like that. No. Now, analytical listening is what the JBL 104BTs are designed for. And they are excellent at it. I'm just saying it. The highs of the 104BTs are clear and very detailed. When listening to instrumental music, let's say, the treble is clear and very distinct. So you can actually hear a variety of different instruments separately. Now, in the midst though, um, I feel like this studio monitors are somewhat weak, somewhat. And on top of everything else, if you're seeking for the base, the 104BT isn't where you will find it. Because 
the laws are basically, I would say, not absent, but much less prominent. And that's the only reason why the hip hop and other bass heavy music don't really sound all that great on the speakers. But then again, some people don't even prefer a bass heavy song. So even if you are listening a bass heavy song, it sounds quite a bit more flatter. And I feel like these sounds amazing, far better than other speakers that has the bass kind of a little bit boosted. I don't like them. The one of our BT speakers works best for close range listening when placed on top of a desk, let's say, like mine. These studio monitors in the desktop setup feels loud enough. So in my case, in my 1113 room, I don't really need to turn up the volume all the way to get a good listening experience because it's just really, really loud. For a 60 watt speaker, I really love it. But the volume is actually insufficient if you're thinking of like a massive living space setup. No. So that's why I will not suggest you to utilize it as a home theater replacement or like something along those lines. If you are a gamer though and you're tired of like headphone listening, these ones are great. Gaming benefits greatly from the very distinct separation of the left, center, and the right audio channels. Like I play Forza Horizon a lot and I hear the difference. The JBL 104 BT's front headphone port is okay, fine. It's not great, but it's just fine. So if you try to use it in for bizarre scenarios, yeah, they do the job done, but not the greatest thing. But one thing I would say, the audio quality via Bluetooth is supremely good. And the most best part is that the range is amazing. So whenever I take my iPad all the way to the first floor, I still able to play all the music through the speakers. That's actually pretty insane to think about. So should you buy them? Well, if your budget is low and yet you are still looking for a um, studio monitor, these are the best. And not just that, if you are looking for a speaker with smaller footprint or need clarity or and a flat sound curve, the JBL 104BTs are just the best choice, I would say. Probably the greatest one because they also come with Bluetooth, so why not? And strangely enough, if you are a gamer, you should look for these too, if you just don't want to use the headphone anymore. For the 70 bucks I paid for the speakers, these are insanely good and insanely value for money. I love it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website. Definitely visit my website, joindavid.com, link down below. So yeah, that's about it. Until the next one, bye and take care.